I'm Ryan Katz and I'm coming to you from BRCW Studio A. And we're less than one month from BRCW Summer Smash. And the anticipation is palpable around Boca with the locals excited and delighted for Boca Raton Championship Wrestling's second live event. With new talent acquisitions happening on the regular, BRCW is happy to announce the signing of a mainstream crossover superstar that's always up for a challenge, the godfather of MTV, Mark Long. Mark will be my special guest on Cat's Corner September 4th, live from the Peter Blum family YMCA of Boca Raton, and I hear he's itching for a confrontation. Neil the Heel was in Nashville over SummerSlam weekend, where he inked the deal and made it real. Very, very secret out here, guys. Very elusive. It's go time, guys. First of all, yeah. So I've been holding this secret for a while. Uh, where are you at, Neil? Right here. So Neil, if you're in Florida on September 4th, I'll be making my independent wrestling debut <laughs> with his company. It's called BRC Book Raton Championship Wrestling. He's one of the owners. So uh, if you're in Florida, September 4th, come watch your boy. Hey guys, what's up? It's the Godfather from MTV. I can't wait. September 4th, I'm going down south to Boca Raton Championship Wrestling. Look for me on Cat's Corner, and I'm coming in hot and ferocious. title was not only just for me. I've been doing this for my home country, Haiti, where I grew up at. As a little kid, I come from nothing. I come to the state, and I fall in love with wrestling. It's what I've been wanting to do all my life. So I'm proving to the world and to my country and to the little kids out there that looks up to me, they, they too can do this. They too can be a chef like me. In just a little while, we're gonna head over to the ring for Josh Woods vs. Steve Macklin. But first, let's do a rundown of the matches we know about for BRCW Summer Smash. Last episode, in our inaugural championship ladder match, we saw third generation superstar Kerry Morton take the fight out of the ring through the bar and to the streets with the South American superstar Ariel Levy. And at Summer Smash, Ariel Levy will put his CCW championship on the line in a Falls Count Anywhere match against Morton. Boca Raton, get ready to boogie, because the next match will have you out of your seat and moving your feet with the charismatic Cha-Cha Charlie as he takes on the ballroom badass Dirty Dango. And we can't- Alright cats, pipe down, because I've got some breaking news! Now, everybody knows that BRCW has the best belt in the business, but our commissioner felt it was a little unfair that we only have a men's championship. So, we went ahead and contacted our favorite jeweler over at Mayor's in Boca Raton at Town Center, and we have commissioned the design of a new BRCW Women's Championship. But that is not the breaking news. This is our women's division is expanding. And on September 4th, you will see the BRCW debuts of Mila Moore 
and Renee Michelle. That's right, it's going to be MJ Jenkins taking on Mila Moore and Jesse Elaban taking on Renee Michelle. And the winner of those two matches will go one on one at our November 6th show where we will crown the new Boca Raton Championship Wrestling Women's Champion. Now, how is that for breaking news? Laser gone. You just heard it, folks. Two women's matches taking place, and the winner of each will face off November 6th to crown the first ever BRCW Women's Champion. It will be Mila Moore taking on MJ Jenkins and Jesse Elevan squaring off against newcomer Renee Michelle. With the championship stakes on the line, I wonder if both MJ Jenkins and Jesse Elevan will overlook their opponent on next week's episode of Boca Vision, as those two women will compete against Santana Garrett in a triple threat. The card is shaping up and it's sure to be a sellout. Sunday, September 4th, live from the Peter Blum Family YMCA of Boca Raton. Get your tickets now at BocaRatonWrestling.com and be a part of the action, excitement, and spectacle that will be the BRCW Summer Smash. Hey you, yeah you. You want action? We got action. You want excitement? We got excitement. You want pro wrestling? We got the best pro wrestling that Boca Raton has to offer. And it all goes down September 4th. So get your tickets now at BocaRatonWrestling.com. Sunday, September 4th, when Boca Raton Championship Wrestling presents BRCW Summer Smash. Next week here on Boca Vision, we'll see the triple threat between MJ Jenkins, Santana Garrett, and Jesse Elaban. And for the first time, we'll hear from Bull James, who looks to bulldoze the competition in BRCW. Plus, more matches for Summer Smash will be announced, which also means another big talent acquisition. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, hit like, and also share. But now, let's go to the ring for Josh Woods versus Steve Macklin. From Florida, he really feels looks like he looks like he's. <laughs> the fans love him. Yeah, and, and the crowd giving it to Macklin as usual. I have to say. As usual. <laughs> there you see Steve Macklin having a little jawjacking exchange with members of the crowd. I think that's Justin Shelton. Oh, representing Rasslin Warehouse. Rasslin Warehouse. <laughs> And with all the rambunctious energy from the crowd, this one is going to be one heck of a wrestling match. It should really be good. <laughs> Macklin sucks. Macklin sucks. 
technical beast, ready for action. Show of respect with a handshake. Oh. Amateur Styles right there, goes yeah. low, looking for a shot. Back Steve Macklin into the corner. Macklin kind of casually pushes him away and looks for the referee to clear him. I've actually never watched uh, Josh uh, Woods. Josh wrestle. Woods, known as the technical beast, yeah. and that comes from his background of amateur experience. He was a wrestler at UCF and also an NCWA national champion background. So obviously the technical prowess is there. Right. No, 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 I'm a fan. A lot of people have asked me if I know him because he's from Florida and his family lives here. So a lot of people have asked me, and, and I'm really excited that I finally got a chance to see him. There you see him putting pressure on the shoulder of Macklin. Macklin trying to send Woods off the ropes. And there's that amateur expertise, always knowing where his opponent's leg is, trying to get control, control the motion, and there you see him kind of taunting him by putting it down so gingerly and gently. Yeah. Yeah. And as much as the fans don't like Steve Macklin, you know, he knew exactly what to do to grab onto that ro rope and have the ref break the hold. So he may not be a good wrestler, but at least he had some... Get some oh, experience. Well, I, I'm going to have to come back at you and say, <laughs> Steve Macklin is an excellent wrestler. And once Not again, according to this crowd. The experience that he brings to the table, the, the lineage, the expertise, the education, a trainee of the Monster Factory. And if you know anything about the Monster Factory, guys like Matt Riddle, guys like Damian Priest, all these guys came out. Tootsie Steve, Marshall. Yes, absolutely. And, and Steve Macklin was, was, a champ, was a heavyweight champion there at the Monster Factory. Mo Monster Ma Factory is next level. I mean, real serious. You know, if you can train there, you know. <laughs> Macklin getting frustrated with the crowd at this point. It was fun and games in the beginning, but now it seems to be playing in psychologically and, and affecting him in his concentration in this match. I think, I think they're getting to him. Tyler Elbow, tie up. Woods ducks under, goes behind. Has him in a cravat right there. Applying pressure on the neck. Macklin able to hold on, but no. Woods not letting go. You notice the grip, has it in tight. Fingers connected, putting pressure across the neck, putting pressure across the carotid artery, trying to make it hard for him to breathe. Macklin able to push him off the ropes. Huge oh! back elbow drops Josh Woods, and you hear the crowd here who wasn't too happy about that. This is the opening that Macklin may need to take control of this matchup. little tit for tat as Macklin goes and applies the same sort of pressure to the neck of Woods applying his own version of a karat. Oh look at the leverage right there able to take him down to one knee. Woods trying to trying to push off find his own sense of leverage trying to find the fulcrum point to push away. Rotates under as he, he thought he was looking for a wrist lock but no. Has control of the fingers of Macklin Maneuvers himself out, sends Macklin off the ropes, goes for a beautiful hip toss, wow. and Macklin. That, that was an incredible feat of strength. Macklin protected his head right there. <laughs> and Woods just taunting him. Oh! oh Stepping on the toes and oh. then kicking him in the face. Posing for the people, and yeah. Woods is having a great time. We, we had so many people in this in this uh, in this arena. I was warned that not to that you know the wrestlers really don't have a lot of move out. A lot of room outside of the. Wait, Macklin having some going? words with the commissioner over the there. Commissioner, commissioner Bruce Beefcake watching over the action, making sure everything stays legit, legal, and copacetic. And he, he had warned me that. Uh, Knife edge chop, followed by a big knee to the gut, and oh, you heard the connection. Uh oh. Macklin onto the stage. On We're the into the people. Now we into the it. into the BRCW universe. We have the uh, uh, Olympic Heights High School wrestling team up here. As you said, Linden Heights wrestling team representing a community. Oh, Olympic Heights. Uh, Olympic Heights. Excuse me. And, and, and you're a representative of the community, and, and, and this is a, a testament to the success of this show and so many people being here. You, your community ties and outreach. How important is it for you to reach out to the various schools and organizations? No, it's very, very important. Because, you know, you know they're, they're the audience. They're the ones that want to be inspired and look up to these people. I remember as a kid, you know, looking up to, you know, the performers. And <laughs> This crowd won't give Steve Macklin a break. Macklin drops Woods for the second time. Yurinagi style backbreaker. And once again, knee to the back. He's plying pressure onto that back. It looks like he's trying to loosen him up, soften him up. 
lower lumbar region being exposed. And there's, there's Macklin. Draping Woods over the rope, going for a little bit more momentum, and oh! Leg over, leaving. Woods to feel, to feel the, the effects of that rope across his throat, across the back of his neck. And the crowd giving it to Steve Macklin. Oh, big block by the technical beast. Big right forearm. Followed by a third and a fourth, trying to put together a combination. Irish whip out of the corner. Woods has him in control. Huge Uranagi puts Woods down. Both men down, but Macklin looking for a cover. Hooks the leg. Oh, I thought he had it there. Only a two count. Woods, that technical beast, had the technical prowess and wherewithal to know where he was and able to kick out and get that shoulder up before the count of three. <laughs> Another shot back to the to the lower back as Macklin continues to target a body part. Now once again, knee applied to the back. The grip pulling back on the chin, putting pressure on the neck, on the lower back, stretching the rib cage, making it hard for Josh Woods to get his breath. Macklin is in control of this matchup. And Woods is definitely in a vulnerable and precarious situation right now. Fighting back up to his feet. Elbow to the midsection. But not enough to stun Steve Macklin, who's able to pummel him. And I mean pummel him with the forearm shot to the back. Irish up out of the corner. Macklin goes for a clothesline. Nobody home. Woods out of the way. Off the wow. wow. With a beautiful kick. Connects at about 75 to 80 percent of that, but enough to take Macklin off his feet and leave him stunned. It was a beautiful maneuver. Woods having trouble though getting to his own feet. He's gonna have to reach down, find that intestinal fortitude, find that resilience, grabbing onto the ropes, trying to make it up to his feet. Macklin already on his feet. Big forearm shot and now adding more momentum. Woods off the ropes, using his body as a block. Overhead, belly to belly suplex and now he's feeling it. Second win, gust of strength, big knee off the ropes, hooks the leg, goes for the three. I don't know if you noticed, Woods tried to put his feet in, getting leverage, driving with his feet, but not enough. Cutler able to get that shoulder up, and this fight continues. Oh, I, I noticed, and it's really an impressive match between these two, but the, the, you know, the, the fans seem to really be behind uh, Josh Woods. Absolutely. I think I saw some of his family in the audience. Macklin leaving Woods in the tree of woe. Oh! I, that, that's got to be it. Huge spear from the tree of woe. And there you see the frustration of the American hero, Marine veteran Steve Macklin, who is unable to put Josh Woods out for the three. Two count only right there, Macklin. He really put a lot of uh, blame on the ref there. And, you know, I, I, I would back her. I think the count was right. Once again, back up onto the top turnbuckle. Dangerous area. Looks like he's trying to hook a superplex. Macklin does have him hooked. Woods is holding on though, trying to counter. Oh! Devastating superplex, barely getting him over, almost dropping him on his head. That could be I, a double count out. It, it could absolutely be a double count out as both men are down and, and Josh Woods is barely moving. No, there you see him gaining Gaining consciousness, gaining control up on his feet. Place Macklin up onto the shoulders. I don't know where he's getting this from. Looks for the TKO. Macklin has him up, fireman's carry. 
Wood's able to counter and go behind. Counter sends him off. Sunset flip, hooks the legs. Woods has him, but no, Macklin able to roll through. Jack Knight's style cover. And with a hook through, and can you believe it? September 4th. I'll tell you what you're doing. You're going to the Peter Blum Family YMCA of Boca Raton to check out Boca Raton Championship Wrestling. You want action? We got action. You want excitement? We got excitement. You want pro wrestling? We got the best pro wrestling that Boca Raton has to offer. And it all goes down September 4th. So get your tickets now at BocaRatonWrestling.com. Well, what are you waiting for? I said now! And check this out. Get there by 4 p.m. with a free meet and greet that includes Mr. Barber Beefcake, the godfather of reality TV, Mark Long. Sunday, September 4th, it's going to be the party of the summer, and it's going to be a bummer if you're not there. And check this out. Have you ever wanted to be part of the show? Well, go to BocaRatonWrestling.com and find out how you can get involved. It all goes down. Peter Blum Family YMCA of Boca Raton, Sunday, September 4th, when Boca Raton Championship Wrestling presents PRCW Summer Smash!